<clears throat> I don't, I don't, I didn't bring the sitter with me. Uh, and I could always send it to you. It's just that he also is, you know, what we're learning here in the in the Tivakavanos, <coughs> he's showing us over there in the Rishash. So I thought it would be interesting to try to uh, look at it, because what's happening is, is that I'm getting, uh, because of the learning that we're doing in the two different places, is uh, it's getting easier for me to, to work with the Rishash. Uh, but I don't have anybody to learn, learn it with. So, you know, it's very hard to get a Havrosa in this, in this area. Okay, let's yeah. go, let's go on. And, uh, th this is where we're going to be. We're just going to start on page Resh Test Zion just to read the top. Because what's happening here is, is that we see that there's Ryo all over everything at, in, in this section. Uh, we don't have that many more days. Uh, so we'll do the best that we can to try to, try to piece together all this because we know, so we know a secret about the Ryo. That it, it's actually the the uh, basis of the formation of the yisod of the nook, and it comes back from that idea. I mean, it's surrounded by many different ideas, but this is the first yichud for the pr purpose of making a, a kli, a vessel that could. Uh, so this has to do with Ryo. So here we're on Rosh Hashanah. I'm just trying to think. If Rosh Hashanah is the, is uh, is a brand new beginning, and what what does the beginning have to do with it? Really. Uh, originally between uh, Adam and Chava had to do with uh, reproduction or or uh, and the at, which is the beginning of let's say the beginning of life or something like that so so the reproduction requires uh, from the female part to have a kli to have a makabel so maybe go, maybe fits in here I still really don't know let's just read the top kuf tazayin it says Amnam uh shte rayo on his karm so he talked about two uh rayos uh, there's a lot of rayos here he wants to show us him removes the osius at the of of the uh shall ata so you can see that from those two letters at from ata the bibikina siurim siurim in the way that they're forming that he shows different formations he said but he never behem shte rayo and there are two rayo here he said the echad uh, ba'os aleph. There's a raya which in the rishash it's plain to see. Even in the weekday rishash, uh, I believe ba'os aleph shechad shal ata rebbechinet siurim. And he says ki aleph he tziur yud vav resh. You could see that he's going. You know we see that down below. Gam tov he tziur resh vav yud. So it's also the tov that also where part of the word ato, which is the bringing in all of the sheva. Kizan. So he says shows shows you a picture of it. Uh, it's like a resh with a vav and a yud uh, sticking down. So he says he says rayos. So these are two rayos that you see here. Achas who can negate kaf beis osius the of the ala beis. For achas who can negate osius pach. Those are the last part of the mansa pach. Now the what what. What I uh, just tried to understand what we're why the Rav is, is bringing us through all of all of these things, uh, and uh, particularly, uh, you know, he wants to he wants to show that there's there's Raya in it. I, 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 okay, I, I just I, I'm just very very confused about how you how he chooses the things that he wants to say. Let's 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 look at an olive. He says. So now we're down here in number Kufiot uh, Ches down below. It says, "Harechem shtei rayo ha'achas who could negate kaf beis osius all of the aleph beis, which we said we could count them up. It's two hundred and twenty, and it takes away four. Va'achas could negate osius spach, which we already used the the man part of it. It's all, all the way all the way part back of the word p. So he said, "Nimsa ki kashecha b'kuvanim v'tzuras osius rayo." So if you do that, merumezes b'chagavanda b'rishon to shall kaf beis osius b'os aleph. Right away, you could see it in this uh, letter aleph. Vakavana uh, 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 Shady said so that's one of them. He says the father should say which which is uh, uh, let's see Vakanda uh, what what happened here? Vakavana Hashnia shall tzfach yachid im avayas. If you take the the gematria, this is one ninety plus avayas twenty six. It gives you that what two mat two sixteen rumezes ba'os raya. So you could see it like this. This is supposed to be a depiction in some way of how you can make a toff out of this. So he said, let's go to the number Kufiotes. Ba'araya ha'shlish, and that's the third raya. Hu b'hizchav nusakof beis asvan v'chamesh osis mansipak b'chipur achet is to take the 22 letters and to make the whole 27 here. 
So he says he says, So in just this word of Reva Tal, we we're talking about bringing Shefa into uh into Malchus. Who Kashe Log came as Shteha Govanda Shal Kafes Asvan for Hamesh Osius Mansafah. You go back to this idea again. Machabram Osam Yachta, you put it together, could look a man, he's going to explain to us as we go on how you do this. So Vadhain Sarklet Sire Milus Ata, so therefore it's necessary to form to look at the form or form them, look them in a certain way in which they're created here, something like that. Uh so ekia in the form of like an ekia bezeha ofen and now can tell us how this goes. He says he neha ekia bemram is the raya. Now how what does ekia got to do with raya? He's gonna come on you for the halon, he's gonna explain this. So uh okay. For the chain bevire atah bekates in their mezes tevis atas, and I wanna know how what is the reference here to the word atah beshem ekia. So this is going to be the third kavana here that you can have in regard to the rayo b'tevisata, and he says uh, the aleph hey part of the uh, of the word akia uh, shall uh, shall ata, which is also part of akia of of ata because it's the first and the last letter. Same hey aleph hey shall akia. It's the same thing. Say a kavana shall kaf base asvon. That the so two kavanas of these. Uh, 22 letters of uh, and that also add that in uh, and so we're trying to say well, hi, how? so the Aleph is really a reference here to the 22 letters that begin with the letter Aleph remember that so you can see that. Okay, so there you go. So you got what? The Aleph and the Okay, I'll say fine. Let's see. Let's see, see, what is the thinking here that we're trying to say? What we're trying to say that that these two go together in some way. Ata and Ekia. Ekia was what? Is I will be. So it, it's 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 potential. Uh, shall ata. Now that's tof of ata. So he says, well, how does that work? Tziurahu rayo. So he says, what what do you have here? If he says that, he says that you have, you have uh, the word ato, and in the word ato you have the aleph hey, which refers to the twenty two plus five lights. You could add it up like that. And now you come over and you say avavah os tof shall ata the tof. Tziurahu Rayo has a Rayo as a Rayo. So it's a Rayo next to the, this 27. Kaniska the Ela Ata Mivire Ketzad Oz Tov Shal Ata also is a remis that the Shte Oz Yos Yud K Shal Ekia. Ki Hine Oz Tov, that he says that the letter Tov, Yesh Yesh Bab Shloshah Lokim Shetzurasim Rayo like this, but you have to do it like this. So you have a Resh form, then you have a Vav in there. You have a little uh, leg kicks out uh, on the bottom left. He says that's actually the formation of a toff, sort of. He says it does. Uh, that is the Rav Salah says it does. So that's also look at this. It also makes a form of a hay. So it's a natural hay there. It's one hay by itself. Ha-resh, the vav, mitoch, mitoch, the resh, the vav that's inside of the resh, uh, that like is the, is, uh, is, is going to give you the word raya. Shall, uh, shall os tov. Shetzirazukam os he has a form like he is repeating again. Shiyesh b'ra b'resh of the sochel kamen, uh, kamen vav, and inside of it has like a vav. The v'yach tov, and together, em kamo os he, it's like a he achas. So back to he again. Vim oz yud shall chatavs, but there's also a yud. Now, how does it shabisofa, which comes at the end? Hare yud ke shall ekia. And I don't really quite understand that phrase. Kasher nitzarif es oz he. So we got a he there, right? Haniskar es aniskeris es ha yud metoch resh yud vav dal. I'm trying to think of where the, where the yud came from. Shall os tof because in the os tof this little, little leg kicks out and says that's that's a yud, 
שהחלק הבולט בטייפן שמאל כזה. So it says this little, this little leg. I mean, he's saying that this is a depiction inside of this letter Toph, which is a Raya. So you got Raya all over this word Toph, uh, of these, these 27. So he says, uh, when you say the word Ata, all of the letters come into the Nukva, and along with them comes the Raya. I think that's what I could say about that. Maybe it's correct. So it comes like this. He owes Toph shall Ata. So if you take the letter, the word letter Toph and the word Ata, Meromezes Baosius Yud K shall Akia. So we said that because shall the Tsar of the Zechab Eshte Osius Al He shall shall Ata. Shehem Neged Kaf Beis Asvan, which is really what we wanted to say, is that the twenty twenty two, and then you have the five. Vachamesh Osius Mansipach Hare Akia. Now, how do you get that? So he says, this is Ekia. Now, I, I got a mess I got. The Nechshav Ki'idah of the Tevis Atah is now considered to be like Tevis Atah. Now, Asa Zech of the Tevis Ekia also becomes the Tevis Ekia. I think I lost that there. Are you still there, Rebbe? Oh, yeah. I, I'm sorry. I, I, th- I, f- I thought you cut out. Let, let me go back to where it says, Venimsa Ki'os Tav Shel Atah. Now, he, he says there is a, a yud, that's a little thing on the side, that, that little uh, leg that sticks out, and then the k. So he says that's the k, yud k, of ekia, shal ekia. Which we said refers to the 22 letters. So you put that together with the 27. Hare Ekia, that's a neck Ekia. So you got Ekia then. The next shift can eat the Tevis Atah. So it's like a word Avis Atah does what? Naasis the Tevis Ekia makes itself into Ekia. Now I'm thinking, I always think of Ekia, or well, I do in this case, of like a, a ball of energy uh, that's that's coming, uh, a potential. the But in the Ekia itself, we see that there's a Ryo in there. So they are carrying, it's, I'm making this up, I know. But it's like they're carrying, the, the 22 letters are carrying along with them the Ryo. And I'm making it up because we know what the Ryo ultimately, where it ultimately goes. Kamoshi Yavur Lohalon, as we're going to explain as we go further. Then he said, He Ryo Achas is a Ryo by itself, which we, I think we saw that. We want to say that the, the, it becomes Akia. It has all this Ekia energy in it. Yivar Atah Habakit said Ekia remembers the Raya. So now we say, well, let's talk about Ekia and how, how its relationship is to Raya. So he said, Rabbi Dekavin, so you have this Kavana. He says, Rabbi Dekavin ki zeha Raya hu bebechin deshem Ekia asher hu begematri kafalav. So let's look at this. So kafalav. So let's look close kafalav. We call echad kolam berasara. So each one of them, though, is ten. So it's twenty-one times ten. Hare asara pamem kafalaf. Hare ri. So rayo who bechin the shame ekia wants to say this. He shame ekia or the kafalaf. Or he shechad my mechaprim. Mechag makvilim asara pamem hare ri. The lochalon before his kates of mashlimim as minyan sheish. Uh, but where do you get the other the other six from okay that's it for today thank you